Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. There's no time like the present for a game of Terrifying Mars. Coming to you, what, three times per week these days? Who knows what the schedule is, man. We, do you remember there was a time we used to play two games per day? Like, just the insanity. Like, we used to go crazy. Um, here we got Earth Office. Always interesting. Earth Office. I think we just played Helion. Again, though, there is some heat here, which is nice. Wasa is interesting, but again, there's nothing to do with that titanium, so we're kind of just doing a nothing burger on turn one, unless we do a Bobo Space Haven, which is like the most expensive titanium income you could ever uh, even think to get. Is there an ocean in here? No. At least some card draw might give us something viable. Uh, yeah, but let's do Vitor. Nothing like taking Vitor, a company that struggles to terraform successfully because of its point strategy. Um, nothing like taking that type of corporation into a bad start and hoping for good results. Um, we'll do some card draw, we'll do some science, and we'll just hope that we hit some science love. Uh, investment loan we can leave behind. Alright, space agency and some steel and heat production. Please, what do we get? We got a Deimos down. And a toll station. A literally unplayable card. Okay, well, for the sake of argument, I'm going to play the Earth Office now so that I don't mess that up. And then let's do an invention contest. I, I want Lake Marineris. I wouldn't mind Dome Crater, but Earth Catapult is certainly what we want to play. And we just played Earth uh, Office. So this, this works out for us pretty well. Um, next up is mining rights. I really want to put that down for some titanium. We can scroll it away down in this bottom corner. And then finally, I have seven titanium. It's not doing anything in my hand. If I spend seven titanium now, I will spend two dollars as well. I'll get three dollars back. So I'll make a dollar profit. And then over 11 productions, I will get 11 titanium back. So spend seven titanium to get 11 titanium. It's a $12 profit. It's still three points. It's not what I want to do at the start of the game at all, because it's such a low return on investment, but it's all I got. It's all I got, man. And then we got advanced alloys. Whatever, man. We have we have some metals coming in. It's not so bad. Um, GG producing bacteria, maybe with a space event that puts bacteria on it, could could work for us. Um, there's not much to do in this turn. Uh, I'm, not, I'm gonna use a steel to pay for power plant. It doesn't matter if I get advanced alloys or not. It's just one steel to purchase this card. So let's not worry about it. Universal discounts on a corporation like Vitor is super good though. So we gotta keep that in mind. Even something like methane from Titan is super interesting. Asteroid mining because yo, um, Titanium production is good in a game where advanced alloys is in our hand. Artificial Lake, I'd like to grab. Uh, but in the effort or in the spirit of playing cards this turn, let's just get our Asteroid Mining Consortium, get up to three income, uh, and get our money back because it was a points card. And then next turn, probably advanced alloys. I'd love to get Methane from Titan early. Doesn't seem like we're going to be able to, so maybe we'll compromise and get a Deimos down because at least that comes with a heat bump all the way up to this free heat production. Arctic Algae, Imported Hydrogen, and Cartel, all of which are good, even Industrial Center, uh, because Industrial Center can give us steel production over time. Um, Cartel is also quite worthwhile. My problem right now is that I don't actually have enough money to do the things. I really wanted in an industrial center because the steel production is good. I, st I think you have to do the advanced alloys though. And then the Deimos down is just super strong. From here, I don't know what you do because I, I wanted $3 for cartel. That's going to be a turn off. We have a lot of steel in hand already. We're waiting for building tags, but industrial center, just a couple taps of that will make us a lot of income. 
Arctic algae is going to be really solid. If we can get the oxygen up, we have decomposers, GHG producing bacteria, and methane from Titan all ready to go. This is the end of Gen 4. How do I feel? We have very low income, but we have a discount card to offset that. We have several kind of discounts and rebates. We have a lot of metal, and we have advanced alloys, so that's good. I, I You know, I don't... I don't know, man. Like, there's... Like, I feel like we're behind in both terraforming and in metals and income because it's weak start but we have some really strong powers that <clears throat> with a little bit of card luck we could get back into the game here getting some heat that actually gets us our heat bump that's nice capital is cool and all but not on this board uh there's no three point ocean and it's also like not a priority so First, do this, get the heat bump, get the heat coming in. That's nice. Next up is probably Cartel. Um, play uh, Industrial Center. I will use a steel just because we have so much of it. And we'll get ourselves up in this area so we can do better placements. And then, yeah, I think we're just doing a Cartel here. We could go for, like, imported hydrogen after placing... Arctic algae, that would get us like what, three plants here, three plants there, and two plants again. We could get our first oxygen bump, but let's get cartel first. Well, I guess if I can get all of it, then I should. Hmm. So you Arctic algae. Instead of overpaying with titanium, I'm going to buy this four dollars one titanium get three dollars back and now i have exact change for imported hydrogen we could have saved imported hydrogen for when we had animal cards uh which would have been really really great for us but i'm a little bit worried about our tempo so getting that first oxygen bump i think is worthwhile we're now one away from methane two away from decomposers and three away from ghg producing bacteria <clears throat> Plantation, very helpful. Nuke zone and lava flows and flooding. All of this is really strong for us. Um, I wish so badly that we had something to do with our steel. If I play the plantation, which I can't afford, that would also get us the 2% for this. I think we just need to take a turn and do our bump. And then I'm gonna play the flooding as well and just grab these two plants. And we're on the verge of getting to the next level of oxygen and then getting our, our Jovian cards. We have a ton of steel, so I want this. We have research viability. What about algae? Algae is the big question for me right now. I don't have oceans. None of this is ocean related. So I'm going to let it sit. There's no points on algae. It's just a chilling card. It's bing. Bing chilling. Alright, so... It'd be great to play decomposers... After getting an ocean. Like, I'd like to play decomposers before plantation. I... Would like to play the nuke zone down here for the minus eight and put that there but then we're one plant shy if we're one plant shy, you know what that works out for me we place this here we get the ocean put the ocean here and now we have this kind of piece on the end i think we can put our mole hole there or actually the mole hole goes even better just down here for this two titanium spot absolutely i don't have the oxygen to get decomposers. I'm just going to play Plantation. We're not going to worry about it. That's nice. Um, very nice. And then we go over here. Let's get that two titanium. Very good. And... Yeah, I mean, a greenery here for more plants. Keep up the tempo. Decomposers pays for itself immediately, but I don't need it this gen. There's nothing happening. What I'm going to do 
is I'm going to sell this card. If we end up getting Mars University, I would have liked to cycle that card, but hey, it lets me get the research a turn early. That lets me get Olympus Conference a turn early. That lets me get Decomposers. Doesn't really give me any value, but I think that that's, that's okay. For Gen 7, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable now with the fact that we have at least a little bit of oxygen pushing. We got some Ecology. We've got Media Group probably worth playing and then a uh, lightning harvest all of these are nice cards in fact we're getting so many nice cards that i'm like not gonna have enough money for everything very notably we got giant ice asteroid that's like the card that's just staring us down right now ecological is also nice but you play decomposers first then ecological for sure $20 worth of titanium in hand. Um, we could get more steel income as well, but we're just not getting that many building tags. Card draw. And a plant. Then, yeah, sure. Let's get our decomposers. Let's get our greenery just here for, for plants so that we can play the ecological zone for money. Um, there's points on it. It's going to be adjacent to this stuff. It's going to decomposers. It's going to ecological. There's a lot to gain from it. And we actually got advanced ecosystems. If we get viral enhancer, that will be insanity. Uh, but lightning harvest first. Then GHG producing. I'm just annoyed because I'm a dollar shy from getting my steel production increased. But again, I don't actually have use for the steel. I mean, I could get a water splitting in the future for, to help with the oxygen. I don't want to, though. I'd rather sell that card and hope for a more efficient steel card. Seven dollars for three dollars worth of steel per turn. One, two, three, four productions. Seven dollars for twelve dollars. It's gotta be now or never. And I believe in it, okay? I'm a believer. There's Viral Enhancer. Oh my god. And some energy. Oh my god. Hired Raiders basically pays itself off. I mean, this is interesting. This certainly is interesting. Let's get the business network and start looking for cards. Insects? We do have three plant tags. The oxygen is pretty well around the corner. That means that we Viral Enhancer. We got to get Aerobaked Ammonia pretty much now. No thing around it. I don't think we're going to need the Lava Flows at this rate. This is a great little heat bump. The Lava Flows would have been cool and all, but I just don't think we need it. The Insects were stupendously close on, but even if I played, like, Advanced Ecosystems, got a bunch of plants, used those plants to put a greenery down, got money back for the points, you know, we could have a lot more cash. We could maybe play, have enough cash for Insects even, right? Hired Raiders for the money to do that. But we'd be one Oxygen shy. So still, even with all that kind of synergy, not quite getting there. I don't want to buy a steel anymore. I won one last turn. I didn't need one this turn in terms of production. It's just less beneficial. There's some energy. Now I wish I had the water splitting. Now I'm kind of regretting because I'm seeing a lot of meh cards come our way. And I'm wishing that we had better. Um, more money for titanium stuff. I mean, I don't even think it's worth paying the $3 to pick these cards up right now. Even though we have so many discounts and steel to play them basically for free, it just doesn't feel very strong. But, I mean, here we are. Heat bump for the ocean. We lost Lake Marineris to some suboptimal card stuff earlier. I mean, I'll take solar power. We pay $3 and we'll get uh, some money off. We have an extra heat bump there. We have a heat bump worth of production and we have the free heat bump. I mean, we have too much heat, quite frankly. Too much heat. We put three steel into getting a point and some money back. 
Let's focus on picking up these plants up here. And then, yeah, advanced ecosystems is worth playing now so that insects enhances it. There's a whole bunch of great stuff. Um, one, two, three, steel. One, steel. I think I want to buy a green ring. I just don't actually know where it goes. I think it goes here. And then what happens is when we play insects, it will get enhanced and we'll get the extra greenery, which can go here. And that got us the heat pump. And that kind of felt efficient. I can get more money with this, but I don't need an extra couple bucks this gen. I mean, we have two generations left. This is the end of gen 10. We have a lot of plants coming in. We're going to have a lot of basically standard project greeneries coming down the pipe but i think we're gonna make it because the heat is basically solved and with the greeneries we're gonna get free um plants immigrant city for points small animals and heather small animals enhances so you can play it in the last gen but i mean it's fine either way points per jovian I mean, fine. I guess we're just kind of grabbing a lot of stuff, but at least this points per Jovian card, unlike the other couple things I just grabbed, um, we can use it to buy cheap, cheap wood. Ah, uh, yeah. And now because my energy is so high, I I just have so much heat. And the heat is solved, and I have 16 heat, and then another, like, two. Like, I'm going to have too, way too many heat bumps. And that's, like, it's fine. It happens, but it always feels bad, you know? Let's grab this greenery for a card. Magnetic shield dome. Fine. Why not? Yeah, so city, city. So greenery, greenery. Fine by me, right? Standard project greenery. And then, is there two plants? Can I get two plants? I can get an extra plant if I... Basically, if I buy small animals and I enhance for a plant, then I'm still going to get a point on it from break points. But I will be able to buy a greenery for this plant, which will get me the extra greenery which can go like here and now that's five points six points four points four points and then i don't know maybe we do something in the south either way we're here now last generation a little bit of ocean needed we'll grab some point stuff now we did get the extra animal which means i'm sad about not taking the extra animal thing i should have just played um I should have just played my Immigrant City last turn and gotten this plant, and then I would have had enough to do the same kind of thing. Um, this, uh, do we need a break point right now on our decomposers? One green tag away, we have the green tag. This would give us a plant. I'm not gonna grab it. We don't have enough to do uh, with our steel, unfortunately, but yeah i mean there is a fan made card that allows you to spend steel uh on cities which i really like i wish we had that right now but we do what we can all right five steel ecological zone let's put it on that because small animals is already at the break point and that keeps ecological at a break point so that worked out really well we'll steal three dollars instead of steel because we have enough we don't need this event so we'll media archives well is there a card draw left down here i mean we could always buy that city but it's almost certainly not going to be worthwhile i think we just buy as many cities as we can we buy a city here um we place our greenery for maximum money back then we buy another city Bucks is nice. Media archives, I mean, you gotta just play it now. 
then we buy a four point city i mean there's a four point city here but then there's these ones as well it doesn't really matter there could have been a card draw to be had but i just couldn't make it happen oh i forgot to build the immigrant city oopsie well that works out then we get this kind of four point spot here then we standard project again just double checking we are good on all the things we didn't get the uh, 63 tr or anything like that but hey that's a lot of uh cities and a nice little diamond here at the end 38 extra heat always makes people mad but i think it's okay and there's lost oxygen so we pass some thick greenery isn't it we can't get three plants off a of placement, so we'll just go beside our industrial center and really just cake in the top half of the, the planet. Satisfying, right? 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 Almost 120. Almost 120. It's still only a, a two out of three because we didn't get the 63 TR, but certainly it was a good run. It certainly was. Vitor with a bad start. Bad start Vitor equals good point end game. What? What is this? I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. I'm, you know what I'm really feeling though right now? I'm pretty sure there was like, we had four cities. There's two neutral cities. Plus we had the city in space. There was an earth space thing that gave three points for every city in play. I don't think buying it ever would have been good, but like, had we played it, maybe we would have ended up with two or three more points and then bam, we're, we're in. But I think you just wouldn't have had enough money for a city at the end, which was worth four points. So, hard to say. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao. For now.